It's kind of funny the way that I ended up where I am today as, I guess you could say, a techie. First year of college, I take the creative writing course, and I walked out of there going, I will never write for a living. The next semester, I took an intro to computer course, and I walked out of this computer class and I said, I will never work on computers for a living, never. For the past 20 years, I was always a writer about all things computer. My big thing is don't discount something just because the first time you attempt it, you're not good at it. Fast forward a few years and my father and a friend of his found out about a computer store that the guy was going to be moving and he was wanting to sell the business. I walked into that because they needed somebody they could trust and that could be trained. He was building computers and then of course he was installing operating systems and configuring things and it was like this light bulb moment, oh, computers aren't just all about programming? And that started my journey. Transitioned from there into a kind of a help desk person, it was at a school, got into it more and more, got a few certifications, and then I went transitioned from there to Kaplan, and that's where I started being a IT certification SME. I'm not your typical IT person. I did spend some time in the IT field actually doing things, but now I'm more of an educator, teaching others how to do some of those IT things. I think through the years that I've discovered it's not so much that I like any one thing in IT, it's more that I like learning. With IT, everything changes and then we just have to adapt. IT is never stagnant and if you say stagnant, the industry is going to leave you. So you just kind of have to find where you fit and what wakes you up and makes you happy. It's time to take a deep dive. Are you ready guys? Yeah. So in the, 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 the when it comes to like looking at IT as a whole, you're gonna see a lower percentage of women in that industry than you'll see in a lot of other industries. The good news is, is when you go to an IT conference, ladies, there is never a line at the restroom. When you're a woman on a male team, you see things a little differently and just m maybe help the team move along and solve a problem in a way that they might not have seen before because, I mean, you know, sometimes we do things a little different. Just bring your perspective, but, but you may have to be a little vocal. If you're thinking of going into the IT field, whether you're male or female, is find you some good people. Get a mentor, especially when you're starting out. In the, this industry, women are doing a better job of trying to help each other and come together and mentor each other. You need somebody that's willing to kind of go along beside you and push you. Find a mentor and then later on, be a mentor. Not everybody is meant to be a coder. Not everybody is meant to be a cybersecurity expert. Start somewhere and try new things. Find the area that you enjoy and pursue it, but don't box yourself in. Be willing to turn that box into a circle and let it expand.